Hi everybody, welcome to my video about my uh, installation and a little bit of a, a shootout for the Pick Up The World piezo transducer for the resonated banjo. So breaking this video apart into kind of two sections, the first is installation, sped it up 50% uh, to make it go quick, but overall it was a super quick installation and as someone who uh, has not owned a banjo until three weeks ago, it's super straightforward. So. First steps, taking off the resonator, obviously, removing the screws. Getting the, uh, this right here is the mounting plate for the banjo. Just take the, uh, the jack off so we can mount that on the side. I, uh, I tried two spots uh, just to figure this out, and I put it where I thought it was the most natural compared to, to playing guitar. So kind of on the, the bottom part of the rim there so it can... Slide straight in and hook through the strap, um, which will work out real nice, I think, when I'm using this live. Yeah, and just securing it onto the, the rim there. And I used a bit of thread locker too, um, so just to be, to be sure that this isn't going to come loose when I'm on stage or something like that. And uh, so the reason I got this is I play keys and rhythm guitar in a country covers band, 90s and 2000s country. There's a couple songs that have some cool banjo licks, and, uh, you know, I want to give it a shot. So I picked up this Sullivan banjo, and uh, here I am putting a, a piezo pickup on it. Researched a couple different options, but I think we're pretty uh, loud band, five-piece band with uh, guitar amps on stage sometimes and a drummer going. So, so I think piezo is the way to go as a microphone would just pick up too much bleed from the drums. And uh, having taken a sound level measurement at our last gig, reaching 105 decibels, crazy loud club, I knew uh, a microphone was not the option that uh, would work for, <laughs> for my particular situation. So yeah, now that the jack's in, just threading the, uh, the pickup through the wire, through one of the holes in the rim there. And I'm going to install it on the underside of the bridge as the instructions tell us to do. And so what I did here is just put a, a nice bright light on the other side of the head so the, the three feet of the bridge are, are very clearly visible. Make it easy to, to line everything up real nice. So you just remove the adhesive backing on the, the pickup and uh, just sticks right on, just like that. There's just a little tiny bit of excess wire, so I grab a little piece of tape, stick it on the side so it's not moving around too much in there. And that's that. Just put it back together. Screws back on. Now, I was originally going to take this to a shop to install, and they quoted me about $150. I'm so glad I didn't because this took me, you know, 15, 20 minutes maximum. And it turned out great. So it's, it's super easy to do this yourself. The other thing I really like about this option is all you can see is the jack. There's no wires coming out of the bridge or anything ugly like that. It looks real smooth real clean. So yeah, the last step was just charging the system up. It uses a uh, capacitor based system. So you, you charge it for 60 seconds plugged into that uh, nine volt adapter and it's supposed to last six hours, which is really cool. No batteries. So what's uh, coming next is a couple different sound samples. They're all from the same take recorded simultaneously with different means. First up is the Sennheiser E965. It's a, um, Kind of a vocal microphone, but it's a condenser mic and, and sounds pretty good. What I'm speaking into right now, actually. So that's the first one. And a sample with the SM58 microphone. And then the Behringer SL75C, which is a SM57 copy. Sounds real nice for guitar amps. Uh, does, does well with the banjo, too. And then I recorded the Pick Up the World uh, piezo. Just plugged straight into a radial uh, passive DI and then into my mixer, which is an XR18 
um, which enabled me to record all those four tracks. And lastly, I have the Pick Up the World blended kind of 50-50 with the Behringer SL75C. As I've read that some folks like to uh, use a pairing of those those two methods on stage so they get you know kind of that microphone tone but with a little more push from the piezo so they can go uh, a little bit louder when they're competing with other instruments on stage. So with no further ado, here we go. And you'll note too that I, I decided to compare um, two types of finger picks because I find there's a huge variance in tone between the gold tone finger picks and the Ernie Ball pickies. And so uh, here you go. Hope you enjoy the sound samples. Hope this is useful to uh, some of you guys that might be in the same boat as me. Okay, let's try the same thing with our Ernie Ball Pickies. Now let's try some scratching on the top. Now let's try a held chord strum. Okay, let's try the same thing with our Ernie Ball Pickies, which I find give a way more brighter, nicer tone. Let's try some scratching on the top. Now let's try a held chord strum. Okay, let's try the same thing with our Ernie Ball Pickies, which I find give a way more brighter, nicer. <laughs> Let's try some scratching on the top. 
Now let's try a held chord strum. <laughs> Same thing with our pretty ball pickies, which I find really way more brighter. Let's try some scratching on the top. And I'm using the treble boost with the pickies. tone finger picks back on now let's try a held chord strum
So that's the end of the test, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's useful if you're looking to find a way to amplify your uh, your banjo for live performance. The Pick Up the World system with a bit of EQ engaged, I think, gets you to the 90% solution. And uh, I think it's going to serve me just well in live performance. Live performance coming up soon as I post uh, some videos from my band every once in a while. So we'll see how it fares in a club environment. But uh, for now, I'm really happy with where, where it's at as a novice banjo player who's kind of just just starting to pick up the instrument to uh to broaden what we can perform live with our group <laughs>